Hey Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another Friday Sit Rep. Lots of cool stuff to take a look at this week, uh, but before we dive in, I just want to remind you guys that all track links right now, both in-store and online, are buy two, get the third free. So you can add all three of them to your cart, the third one will be discounted 100%. That's pretty much going to go until we are completely out of track links, both in stores and online, because we're working on rolling out those new V3s. That'll be a while yet. Uh, so if you want to load up on stuff for some future mock projects that you got, now is the time to do that, uh, because that's some pretty sweet savings. Otherwise, like I said, plenty of cool stuff to take a look at. So let's dive on in. Kicking things off with what is now tradition here on the Friday Sit Rep, our digital spinny look at the uh, final model complete in render form here. So what you're seeing is basically what we're hoping the final model comes out and looks like. Um, everything you're seeing is printed. Uh, the only stickers on this build are the uh, markings on the underside of the wings themselves. So everything else, all the details across the fuselage and on the wings are printed. Uh, and like you see, it does include two minifigures. Taking a closer look at the uh, prototype build itself, I really can't say enough w about how much I absolutely adore this design. I mean, it is nice and structurally sound. You can see we got the, uh, the nice gull wing shape captured there as well. Brick built bombs along the bottom. We got two there, one in the middle, and two on this other side as well. Functioning dive flaps because it is a dive bomber after all. Canopy looks good, and as you can see, you can even open it up a little bit there to, uh, to get access to the pilot minifigures. The tail-mounted machine guns move up and down as they should. Got those iconic beastly landing gear there. Uh, the wheel does spin just fine in both of them as well. And then obviously that massive spinning propeller. All in all, a fantastic update, an excellent build, um, and definitely uh, worthy of adding to the collection. All right, Brick Maniacs, so for this segment of 30 Second Mocks, we're showcasing the M1938 122 uh, millimeter howitzer designed by Andrea. So what you get included in the kit uh, is that howitzer gun there and then the limber uh, next to the lady hauling the shell there. But I want to just set this up as a mock real quick uh, because I always know, I always say this when we release these artillery guns about how, you know, they are pretty close to being mock ready once you add some terrain and some minifigures. And obviously this terrain is amateurish at best. Um, but you can see that, you know, maybe it's not World War Brick ready, but if this is something that you want to display or a way to display it, it's just meant to give you ideas. The build itself is nice and sturdy. All the details are brick built. You can see the uh, the breach and sight, etc. there. Uh, so no printing or stickers on this model as well, which bodes well to the price point uh, because there's just bricks. Like I said, you can see that limber two that is included uh, with the kit itself. And then all of it does link together so that you can have it towed behind your gas. Uh, or whatever vehicle of transport that you're planning on doing if you're doing a convoy mock. Otherwise, this is obviously set up like it is deployed and ready to fire. I know we're short some crewmen, but working with what we've got here. And you can see it comes together awful quick. Looks nice. And all in all, it comes together at a, at a pretty dang affordable price, especially if you've got some of these bricks already in your inventory or even lucky enough to have a collection of minifigures to go with it as well. But like I said, just trying to provide some ideas, some inspiration for what people might want to take to the next level if, you know, you were actually a talented builder. <laughs> All right, and just a real quick showcase of our most recent uh, Space Race printed tile pack here. Uh, this one we have the shuttle missions. Um, so it's a Challenger, Columbia, etc. And uh, there's 10 in this pack here, each one of them sporting some individual piece of artwork meant to represent those patches used on the missions. It always impresses me how much detail they're really able to transfer into these small two by two tiles. When you think about the surface area they're working with, the amount of artwork that needs to fit in there and then also be legible, you know, so that you can actually see what you're looking at and it doesn't just look like a blotch of color. Uh, there's a lot of technical work that goes into making sure that those prints read properly from the art stage to the printing stage and beyond. So like I said, just a nice little showcase here. Uh, these are a great collectible and awesome collection to have. I even like it when people just kind of put them all on a base plate. It's a cool way to showcase them. And you can pick up this latest pack, obviously releasing this week, and then I believe we still have copies of the previous ones that we've done as well. So go pick them up. Now we're showcasing another uh, custom created element and sticker pack combo here. So we have the uh, Vietnam uh, fighter pilots sticker pack, and then we also have the HGU-33 custom created element currently only available in white. But as you can see, if you've got some base figures already in your inventory, um, you can really make these sticker packs go far. 
six bucks for six guys that include the uh, torso prints, the side prints, the back ones, obviously, boots, uh, and then even some extras uh, like pistols, etc. that you can see there. I know I've said it before and I'll keep saying it too, uh, these sticker packs are just excellent for people who are regularly building mocks uh, using the same parts. Obviously, if you've got to make those the couple of sand green torsos go a long ways, um, it's a little bit better to purchase just the torsos themselves and then sticker them up uh, to whatever mock you're building for that time. Uh, and this is just a great alternative to be able to do that kind of on a budget, keep those parts in rotation, be able to use them uh, in various mocks as you continue to progress your builds. All right, Brick Maniacs, that'll just about do it for me here on a Friday. I do want to mention, though, too, um, we're super happy that you guys love the monthly calendars. We do want to bring those back. Um, we're working on having them back, hopefully, by the month of November. So we are going to get that program back up and running. But with a couple of exceptions, or I suppose some clarification on what the uh, intent of those calendars is for. So we do have a post up on our blog right now. So if you want to hear a little bit more about that information, make sure to go check that out. Also a great place to get the rundowns for the uh, Friday and Monday reloads. Otherwise, that'll do it for me here on a Friday. Thank you very much for watching.